as you've heard, welcome back to Pokemon Shield. Today, we are going to be flying all the way over to Windon because we've been I wanna do something we've been meaning to do for a while, and that is checking out this giant tower. It is the Battle Tower. I don't know too much about this thing other than there's, there's a tower in which we battle in. <laughs> So we're gonna be trying this and just sort of seeing how it goes. It's it's only something you can do after you beat the main game. So it's just something I haven't seen. And there's lots of people to talk to, so let's talk to them. I'll keep battling and steadily raise my rank. Hello, that's a very cool looking Pokemon. I think we have one, right? Electric memory on. This will help me save on the electric bill. Ooh. Guess it really doesn't work until type null evolves, trat. Oh, champion zebra. Probably goes without saying at this point, but congratulations on your victory. To commemorate your achievements, I present you with this rare Pokemon, Type Null. I think we already have one, but good to get another? Or maybe not. Uh, oh, I guess not. Well, here's Type Null. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm remembering it from Pokemon cards. I actually haven't gotten it in the game. Uh, synthetic Pokemon, normal type. Uh, it was modeled after a mighty Pokemon of myth. Uh, the mask placed upon it limits its power in order to keep it under control. Interesting. Um, well, let's send you to a box. It's, a, it's just like a weird combination of different Pokemon. Ah, these two, we received memories. Once type null evolves, its type will change depending on which memory you have it hold. Whoa. Interesting, what it will evolve into though? Very curious. Uh, are you taking good care of type null? Yes, I'm trying. I mean, I just had him for a couple of seconds. Welcome to the BP shop, how might I help you? I don't think we have any BP, mints. When a Pokemon smells this mint, its attack will grow more easily, but its special attack will grow more slowly. Interesting. So I guess we get these maybe by applying on the batter tow battle tower. Uh, and this is a different BP shop. Ability capsule, Pokemon that allows, or a capsule that allows a Pokemon with two abilities to switch between these abilities when it's used. Very interesting stuff. Uh, what about you? Thank you for coming. This is the battle tower. Can I help you with something? Tell me about this place. The battle tower is quite what it says on the tin. It's a place where you can have Pokemon battles. You can battle following the same rules as you might in ranked battles. If you win, you can earn rare candies and BP. You can use rental teams too, so no worries that you need a perfect team of your own to take part. Can I help you with something? Okay, where are the rental teams? Let me, let me talk to everybody else, because I'm very curious about that. Ranked battles that you compete with Pokemon trainers all over the world. Information about ranked battles. Select verses from the menu and then select battle stadium to participate in ranked battles. Hone your skills at the battle tower and then give it a try. Yeah, we haven't done ranked battles yet. Uh, you wanna borrow one of my battle teams? Lend, it, lend me a team. Basic, skill, tough, rain, slow, or never mind. That's the strongest team right there. Well, let's do a basic team. You're interested in this battle team? Tell me about this team. Single Battles, it's a nice simple team that's built around three Pokemon close to the heart of anyone in Galar. Take a good look at what types of Pokemon your opponent is sending out, then choose one of these great allies to send yourself. Uh, you're interested in this battle team, let me this team. Oh, and is it free? Okay, put them through their paces. So, interesting. Um, oh, I see you've become champion. Then I can now have your one level 100 Pokemon undergo hyper training. What's this? Seem you don't have any bottle caps or gold bottle caps. Come back when you're ready to get hyped for some hyper training. Why would you need to train your Pokemon if it's already level 100? Welcome champion, here to do a spot of shopping. I'm here to buy. What do you have? Whoa, very expensive stuff. Gicker Drain, Mystical Fire, Razor Shell. These are some crazy moves. Huh. All right, I'll have to keep this in mind. Very expensive. Uh, No, thank you. And then there's a couple more people to talk over here. Leon, he transformed Rose Tower into the Battle Tower when, it, when he became its owner. He's no longer the champion, but he really wants to make everyone strong. I admire him. So I guess this used to be Rose's Tower. Uh, it's nerve wracking to battle against trainers all over the world. That's why you should learn every possible way to battle at the Battle Tower. Well, that's what we're here to do, so let's go in. Oh wait, yeah, that's right, I'm supposed to talk to you. All right, I am ready. I want to battle. Please select the battle format and the Pokemon you'd like to take part. Single battle or double? In this battle format, a trainer sends out a single Pokemon at a time against his opponent or two. Um, let's do this one for right now. Let's see how high up the tower we can get. And do we have a rental? I thought we rented a team. Huh, where did they go? Oh, here they are. Whoa, so it's going to be the Evolved Starters, Gengar, the one dragon type, 
or whatever that is. They're actually lower level than what I currently have, though. Let's try this for now. Let's, let's just try our team, and then we'll try those other things we rented. Um, oh, we can only choose three? Wait, really? Um, all right, well, I guess then I would do Dot, probably. Oh, they're all limited to level 50, then. Hmm. Maybe I should just try the three starters, see how that goes. That's very weird. All right, sure. Then in you go. Well, at least we get the experience the three starters a little bit. I don't think this adds them to our Pokedex, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, hi. Guess what, guess what? Folks are always telling me my team's real strong. You're challenged by Pokey Kid Robin. And he's in a Pukumuku. All right. Oh, the music here is exciting. So what kind of Pokemon is Rollaboom? I'm not really sure, not Rollaboom. Oh, sorry, Pukumuku. I forgot. Um, info on Pukumuku, a water type. So actually, yeah, grass is good against water. Yeah, okay, let's do either drum beating or wood hammer. 80, 120, ooh. This music is really cool. I haven't heard this. Nice, one hit takedown with that one. Wow. Oh, but Pikamooker's innards out. And then, did you just eat a coconut? Citrus berry, oh yeah, that's right. But then we lose it again, by the Rocky Helmet. Okay, we'll see ya. And we lost even more health by the recoil. Man, we got hit by everything. Okay, this is Chinchino. Oh, it's so cute. I don't know if I've seen you before. Um, You're a normal type. I think we might wanna switch then. Well, I mean, actually, we have superpower. The user attacks the target with great power. However, this also lowers the user's attack and defense stats. All right, well, we're gonna have to switch you out after this anyways, so. Maybe I should've Dynamaxed, I don't know. But if it's like a tower, oh no. If it's like a survival thing, though, that's what I'm sort of curious about right now. Um, we lost him, but like, do we need to like, will he be fainted in the next battle? I don't really know. Anyways, none of this is super effective, so might as well just like switch to, not Dot, just Cinderace. This music's really good though, I like it. Um, oh, we don't, no, no we do. Um, and let's just do Max Flare. Obviously, we won't do anything like super crazy, but. Let's go. Give that ball a toss. And hopefully it's enough to like knock you down fairly quickly. Oh. She's not happy. Hyper voice again. Not doing much this time. There it goes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Critical hit, very lucky. The sunlight is harsh. So we lost some of our HP there. Rebombi. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, super effective. You're in trouble. They use protect. Well. That will protect them against us, but next time, right? No, it's not enough. Okay, protect didn't really work. Yeah, it couldn't fully protect itself and got hurt. Wow, okay, so you're taken down. Those are your only three Pokemon, right? So round one has been, has been won. It's been conquered, that's what I was gonna say. But, but how? How could I have lost? I'm sorry. You've earned two BP. So I guess that's where we can spend those in the shop. Would you like to continue battling? Why not? That's what I'm here to do. Is there like a, a limit on how high you can get up? Crumbs, you look strong. I'm not sure if I'm up to this. Schoolgirl Zara, Zara. And she has Musharna. We just unlocked or ca caught this Pokemon last episode. Okay, so Rillaboom is back. Do you still have like the berry? I hope. It looks like everything is restored then. So I don't know if I have anything that's gonna be super effective against you. Oh, we do have Shadow Ball for Inteleon. We have not used Inteleon before, this is exciting. But yeah, it's cool using different Pokemon this way. I used Yawn. Oh no, 
Please don't fall asleep. They grew drowsy, but they're not fully asleep just yet. So let's go ahead and try Shadow Ball right now. Oh, they use Protect. Well, that's not too big of a deal, actually. Like, even if this doesn't do anything, that's fine. Oh, but now we're asleep. Do we have, like, an Awakening? Um. Oh, we don't. There's, like, no Pokeball or Poke items. Like, there's no bag. I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're trying it. He might be sleeping while he's gigantic. But we gotta go for it. Come on now. Whoa. He's still asleep. <laughs> Will he be able to attack? No, he doesn't look asleep to me. Yeah, he's, he's past asleep. Oh, great. Dream Eater, oh man. What a combo. Right, you're still asleep right now. I really, this was a bad idea. I was just hoping it would wake it up or something. Oh no, come on. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Nope. Well, that was a big failure. Jeez, come on. So, not, not only did it get knocked out, we did nothing with the Gigantamax. Does the opponent even get a Dynamax? Or have we just not really seen that happen? I don't really know. All right, we're just gonna switch to Cinderace and do Pyro Ball. It looks like I really have to up my game as a battler. Okay, so let's use Pyro Ball against Musharna. And that did a lot of damage, but not enough. Oh boy. Oh, now it's gonna use Sleep on me. Okay, we didn't fall asleep, but we will by next turn, so we gotta be careful. Oh, great. Okay, so we have another chance here. Let's just go ahead and use Pyro Ball again. Oh, no, 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 because then we're gonna fall asleep again. I don't like this Musharna. This is not good, because now you're gonna fall asleep. I have to switch out to Roll Boom then, I have to. Oh, that is so baloney. That was a very tough strategy to work with, though. So let's quickly switch over to Rollaboom and just hit Musharna with anything, really. I really don't want to lose on the second battle. <laughs> I really don't. So here you go again with something. You just keep healing yourself up. Leftovers. Um, I don't know if I want to do Wood Hammer. Uh, hopefully Drum Beating will be enough. Come on, please. Yes, there we go, we got rid of you. Problem is, we have Rillaboom and a sleeping Cinderace. <laughs> it's all we got. Oh, Togekiss, it's so cute. So none of these, oh, do anything. I'm in so much trouble. Uh, some of these are super effective, but we have to survive the sleeping. And we can't do that unless we bring it out here. It won't wake up on its own. Much more difficult without items. Much more difficult. Oh, and that does so much damage, why? I can try it, but it's not really gonna do anything. Yeah, she's just sleeping. Oh, I really messed this one up. It's such a shame. And they keep getting critical hits. Can you please, please, please wake up? No, you can't. You just can't do me one solid right now. Just don't be a critical this time, okay? It's gonna be a critical. Oh, it wasn't! But you're still asleep! How long do you have got to sleep? You're, it's just, ah. Uh, I've never seen somebody asleep for four turns. But then all of a sudden, it just happens every time in this. There's nothing I can do now. Wow, I can't believe that. That is baloney. Yeah, there's nothing I can do except for not very effective attacks. Wow, I am awful at this game. I mean, I feel like I also just, I don't know, I got sort of a bad draw there. But now that I sort of understand what's happening, hopefully I can make the most of it. Ugh, this really stinks now. They're using Encore. <laughs> he looks good in the spotlight, I'll say that much. Rillaboom must do an Encore. I mean, does that mean we get to attack twice? Because I would love that. I mean, I think it really does mean that we can't use any other move except for that. I mean, at least their speed is falling. Dazzling Gleam. Hurts a lot. Let's try Wood Hammer. 
Oh, uh, we can only use jump beating even now. So that's not just like one time, it's like multiple over and over again. It's still a good move though, so I don't mind too much. If we could just survive against Togekiss, come on. Okay, uh, oh nice, we got our berry. That'll help at least a little bit. We're back in the green. Back with the drum beating. So close yet so far. Oh no, that's a problem now. Yeah, if we get hit by that again. Okay, it's Encore ended, so let's do this even if it does, I mean, actually we really need Rollaboom to survive, so maybe that wasn't the best bet. <laughs> oh no, there it goes. I can't believe it. I'm so bad at battling apparently. Jeez. I mean, I'm also using Pokemon I don't really normally use. Okay, well, I'm happy to jump back into it. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, I just, I really wanna give it another go. I wanna battle. I wanna keep that same team. Like, I think we could do something with that. Um, so obviously we can choose which one's first, second, third. I don't know if that really matters too much because that situation is gonna change around anyways. Um, So we're starting against somebody totally new. So it's not like it's the same thing every time. I'm not like all the rest of those youngsters you might have battled till now. What well, makes it different? Maybe his cool sweater. Youngster Brent. Hit him on top. Okay, so this is the fighting type. Seeing lots of new Pokemon I don't normally see though, so that's awesome. All right, they're using Intimidate, which lowers our attack. So we don't have anything that's super effective against you. I want to be able to take that opportunity when we can. So we do have Zen Headbutt over this way. I mean, that will open us up to being attacked first, but so be it. They're using Bullet Punch. Doesn't do much though. Not very effective. So fight, Zen Headbutt. I love his little move he's using, Detect. So that's not gonna work out too well. We'll just be able to use it again though. Maybe even use it first. Yeah, here we go. Now you're in trouble. Oh, that one hit takedown. What is this one? Oh yeah, I do remember this, okay. Doesn't it usually give us a chance to switch Pokemon when that happens? I guess not. Okay, so we got a ghost move over this way that's super effective. Why can't we be switched out? Maybe like intimidate? Okay, well, if that's the case, we might as well use the fire type move because that'll be same type attack bonus. So if it's just normally effective, even then it'll be our best bet. Oh, very nice. One hit takedown still. Vile plume. So this should be like a grass poison, right? Yep, this is super effective. They're going to use protect, but I think we'll be fine. Like if it doesn't work this time, then we'll just use it next time. They can only protect themselves so many times, right? Here we go. So this time, Dot saved the day for sure. And that's the first battle done. And we get BP every time we win, so we can sort of you know, check that out by the end of today's episode. Next time I'll come back with long pants. Uh, all right, I hope those help you somehow. You earned two BP. Battle two, let's win it. You're ranked two. You've earned a reward for moving up through the ranks. You obtained a rare candy, oh cool. Uh, And we earned three BP. Good work in there, the battle tower is ready whenever you are. Oh, does that mean I have to start from scratch again? Uh, I want to battle. So maybe there's like not actually, I thought that maybe there were like levels to get up to. Maybe it's just about this. Obviously if we could do this all in a row, that'd be great, but. For right now I'm going to keep with what we've been doing. It just seems to work out pretty well. Done. But I would love to check out some other stuff at some point. Obviously this is something you're supposed to play a lot. So if you enjoyed this, let me know. Crumbs, you look strong. Okay, so same thing as before. Hopefully we can actually beat her this time. It's, it's school's girl Zara again. So will she have the same team? She might, I never saw her third Pokemon. So it's knocked out to begin with. So. 
who do I want to switch out to? Okay, we can use Blizzard with Inteleon. But is this normally how competitive Pokemon battles are done? Are three versus three teams? Because I didn't know that. Very interesting, for sure. Okay, so let's just do this for right now. They avoided the attack. Oh, did we get healed? The blunder policy sharply raised her thing. Cool. Wow, wow, that hurt. Super effective, try it again. This time it's gonna work, and hopefully a one-hit takedown, not quite. <laughs> oh, they're gonna eat their berry. It seems like a uh, bad situation. Hyper voice again? Can you not? <laughs> Can you please just not? I, I can't beat this girl, she's too good. Um, Let's switch to Dot then. Dot should definitely be able to finish it off with one of these moves, you know? Uh, like as per usual, we use uh, Pyro Ball. We'll be able to attack first, so it should do enough damage. Thank you very much, Noctowl is done. So we lost some of our HP there for like no reason. Darmanitan, so this is a new team. Um, you are Ice type, so this is sort of our best bet. Pyro Ball again. You avoided the attack, why did you have to avoid that? This shouldn't do much though. Okay, it did still a good, do a good chunk. Um, try again, Pyro Ball. Please land this time, there we go. And a one hit takedown. So one more Pokemon from her. What is it gonna be? Glaceon. So this is also Ice type. Okay, it's time to Dynamax then. We need to Dynamax to make sure that this works out very well. Because nobody, none of our opponents have Dynamaxed yet. I don't know if they can or not, but I don't want to find out the hard way. So. Max Flair. Oh boy. Looking good. Is it there? Finally, she's been defeated. The strongest Pokemon trainer ever. Okay, so with that done, I think we need to beat like two or three people to get to the next rank though. I knew I couldn't do it. Not with that kind of attitude. I mean, you already could do it before. All right, well, we earned two BP. Uh, let's continue battling. I would love to. So who's it gonna be next? Oh, it's a little Eevee. I'm here in my Jam Jams. Guess I'll battle in my Jam Jams. <laughs> okay, Pokey Kid Penelope. Vespa Queen. Okay, I might want to switch out a Rollaboom. Well, let's find out. Unnerve. Too nervous to eat berries, poor guy. Yeah, none of these are, are very effective, so we definitely want to switch out. So we either have Inteleon's Blizzard or Pyro Ball again. Pyro Ball is always a good go-to in my opinion. Usually it has fast speed, so it attacks first almost every time. So come on, Cinderace. And they're of course gonna be able to attack first. Ooh, not too bad though. Not very effective, critical hit though. So let's throw out that Pyro Ball. Yep, we'll get to use it first and everything. This is likely gonna be a one-hit takedown. Indeed it is. Problem is, what is she gonna need next? V what did I say? Vicavolt, I have never seen this. It must be like an electric bug, right? So this is super effective again. And we got to use it first, so that's very fortunate. I've never seen this Pokemon before though. Sort of creepy. All right. More Pekko. Oh, we have seen more Pekko before. You're a little cutie. So we might want to switch then. Who's going to be the most effective against more Pekko? It looks like it's going to be Rollaboom. So we'll Dynamax Rollaboom and everything. That'd be fun.
Nasty plot, uh-oh. Now we're in trouble. <laughs> Whoa. See, let's do Dynamax, Max Knuckle. I don't know if we've seen this before. Max Knuckle. We'll see for ourselves. Come on now. Is it gonna play his drums? Oh, they're gonna use Snarl. Oh no, not Snarl. We're all right, we're all right. Yeah, he's jamming out. Whoa. Okay, so this one was much easier. Super effective, more Peko fainted. All right, so another trainer defeated. Nighty night. Well, she seems pretty happy about it. You earned two BP, and there we go. Congratulations, you moved up the ranks. You are now rank three. You've earned a reward for moving up through the ranks. Rare candy and probably more BP. Yep, three BP. Good work in there. The battle tower is ready whenever you are. So we'll keep at it. I wanna keep playing for at least like about an hour. Um, so now we need to get four victories, right? Or is it saying that we've won four times? I'm not really sure. Uh, We'll just keep going at it until we raise another rank. I do want to keep with this team because it's working. You know? All right, let's give it a try. And then in you go. Maybe after maybe after this rank, I'll try a new team. I'll try the other three Pokemon. Hello. I take all the stress I've built up in my workplace and blast it all away with a good battle. I mean, that's that's good. Never good to have that stress all built up like that. Galisapod. Oh yeah, I, I do remember this thing. I don't know if we have the right type for it. Yeah, not quite. Oh, none of this is. So what type of Pokemon are you? No, I don't, no. <laughs> don't run away. Galisapod is a bug water. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's just do, yeah, let's, let's play a little bit risky. We'll, we'll do the, the hammer. And obviously that does have some recoil damage, but I think we'll be okay. Bug buzz. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Yeah, bug is good against grass, isn't it? <laughs> Whoops, all right. Um, might as well switch to, uh, let's switch to Inteleon actually, because Bug and water have no relation, but, uh, well, yeah, I guess, I don't know. We'll just see how this goes. <laughs> well, yeah, it was water, so, like, water would be good against Cinderace. That's what I was worried about. Emergency exit, really? Umbreon, how oh, cool. This is an electric type. Actually, that sort of puts us in a bad spot overall. So maybe we should switch now back over to Cinderace. Wish we still had Rillaboom right now. But yeah, look at me, I can switch Pokemon too. So with this we can at least use uh, like Baton Pass. You're switching out again. Really? Galizapod. All right, you know what, we're just finishing you off then. Uh, let's go ahead and just do Zen Headbutt. As long as we can attack first, we'll be fine. And there it is. We lost some of our HP, but that's fine. Now they're sending out Umbreon again, which is who I was sending out Cinderace to deal with anyways. Uh, we'll immediately do, well actually, maybe I should check the other moves, I don't know. Well actually, I think I already did. Pyro Ball should be good enough to, yeah, deal some decent damage. Why do we lose some of our HP? I don't know. Maybe an item they're holding? Let's do Pyro Ball again. With any luck. Oh, they avoided it. That's not what I wanted. Confuse Ray. Oh boy. It's better than sleep. I'll tell you that much, but. Now is that's what I wanted.
Okay, will you attack yourself in confusion? Yeah. Oh wait, oh wait, never mind. You're good. Let's get to it. Nice. So there's another one down. You have one more left. I have two. So you would think that something would work out. Cloister. Hmm. I don't think I have anything that'd be very good against you. But would. Would Inteleon? No. Who would? Would. Zeroboom would have had a bunch of stuff. Because it's water type. Let's Dynamax. All of it is like mediocrely effective, so. Let's do like, yeah, max steel spike sounds fun. <laughs> it, it should do something decent. And we're, we're gonna be Gigantamax, so. Or Dynamax, actually. So it'll it'll do something worth our while. That's all I can really ask for. All right, are you ready? Hit him with everything you got. Oh yeah, that's right, she's still confused. Please don't hurt yourself in confusion. Thank you. Hit him with that steel spike. It's all right. <laughs> Maybe we should do the pyro ball or something. Defense rows, awesome HP. They do rain dance. That's actually not good for us at all. It's weird that the, the fire pyro ball will do anything at all, if it's water. But it is effective. Sindrace is confused but they were still able to use Max Flare. Yeah, really not that much. But if I can just hit that one more time, it should be good. Oh, now it's very sunny. Sunlight turned harsh. Weather ball, whoa. Actually, not too bad. One more time. Don't worry yourself in confusion this time. Yeah, <laughs> she was able to hold on no matter the confusion. That's what I'm talking about, we beat her. That was not easy. So that was our first rank three battle. It was quite the challenge. Great, now I'm stressed out about losing on top of being stressed out about work. Maybe you should look into a new career or something. I mean, you know, work is important, but also, you know, you gotta be able to keep working. If you're too stressed out to work, then maybe you need to find something new. Is this Leon? What? What is with this new getup? Zebra, I've been waiting for you. Always knew you'd be able to win your way here. Now, how about take on you, you take on Challenger Leon with everything that you've got? What is going on? Uh, what is with this fancy outfit? All right. I like it. Secret Leon battle, Mr. Rhyme. Not Mr. Mime, Mr. Rhyme. I probably want to switch over to Cinderace, son. Okay. Yeah, none of this is super effective, so. Let's take our chances by switching over real fast. We'll have two effective moves. It'll be a fire and a steel moves that are going to be good against Mr. Rhyme here. His dance always creeps me out. Freeze dry. I mean, that's the only problem is that's also going to be pretty effective, right? Actually, not really. Oh, I'm getting it mixed up. Uh, water is good against fire, not ice. So let's just try Pyro Ball. Nice, there we go. Seismitoad, interesting. Cause that's a poison type, I don't know if we have, well actually, yeah, I was gonna say, Rollaboom should be good. It might be poison water, we should probably check. I have a Seismitoad, so we should know the stats. Mud shot. Yeah. Not very effective though. So let's go back at it with wood hammer. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's gonna rain. Actually, that shouldn't affect us too much. Even if it's raining, because we're grass type? I, I would think that would improve our situation. Who knows? Anyways, one hit takedown. We are destroying him right now. Ooh, Charizard. So we definitely want to switch over to uh, Inteleon. Pokemon, Inteleon, and either of those will be great. 
And I probably want to Dynamax. Oh boy. Oh, it's... Here he goes. Well, you and me both, buddy. Whoa. That looks awesome. He looks so angry up there. G-Max Wildfire. Uh-oh, please don't one-hit me. Oh, not even close. He's just standing there like, yeah, right. We're surrounded by fire, though, that's not good. So let's fight. We're going to Dynamax Max Geyser. Now you're in trouble. Oh boy. So I think this might be enough to take him down. Wow, we're much taller. Wow, we're so much taller than he is. I wasn't expecting that. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Sorry, Leon. Second time is not the charm for you. So we've battled him twice now, right? I think so. Very intense stuff. Battling against a champion like you, it really is the best, he's embarrassed. Since you managed to defeat me, you'll be moving up the ranks here at the Battle Tower. I knew you had it in you, Zebra. I was sure you and your Pokemon would blast right through the first stage of the Battle Tower. But don't go thinking you've seen all the Battle Tower has to offer, we're only getting started. I'll give you one of my League cards, and not just any old one, this is a rare one. You got Leon's rare League card. So there's still more League cards. I haven't seen these yet. I need to look through them. You earned two BP. Congratulations, you've moved up in the ranks. You're now ranked four. And that's not all. You've reached the Pokeball tier. You've earned a reward for moving up through the ranks. So we've earned two rare candies and uh, a bottle cap. Okay. A beautiful bottle cap that gives off a silver gleam. Some people are happy to receive one and a sprig of impish mint. I don't know what that is. When a Pokemon smells this mint, its defense will grow more easily, but its special attack will grow more slowly. I guess during its level ups? And we earn five BP. The judge function has been unlocked. You can now use it in your boxes. You can now choose which background music you'd like to listen to in the Battle Tower. Good work in there. The Battle Tower is ready whenever you are. So let's get back into it. This time I will use a new team, because um, I said I would. Yeah, now we're the Pokeball tier. How cool is that? Um, so let's go back into it and switch, or ch choose Gengar, Haxorus, and Togekiss. And see how these three compare to everything. Hopefully well. Um, oh, hi. Huh, what's going on? Are we supposed to battle now or something? Did you just stumble in here? Backpacker Celinda. And she has Clay Doll. Oh wow. We have Gengar. I don't quite remember what typing Clay Doll is, so we'll check that out. Uh, info, Clay Doll is a ground psychic type. And we got some super effective stuff. So let's immediately use Shadow Ball then. Gengar is so cool. I don't think we have a Gengar yet. Nice, got rid of ya. Critical hit. Ooh, Braviary. I don't think we've seen Braviary in this game. So obviously these aren't super effective. We need to, uh, oh, none of these are. Okay, so we might as well keep with what we got. Maybe now would be a good time for something like Max Starfall. Just really go at it. Because I don't think we really need to leverage the super effective moves, you know? We need to more so leverage the normally effective moves so that we can survive for longer. So I have no idea if Breviary will have anything good against Gengar. I don't think so. But you never really know. Because all these Pokemon have a good like spread of different moves. Oh, not bad at all. So we should be able to hit Braviary with that one more time, and then on top of that, have one gigantic or Dynamax move for the uh, for the, the third and final Pokemon. 
Brave Bird. Wow, that hurts. Damage by the recoil though, which took him out. Okay, so we still have two more Dynamax moves for Gengar. Okay, it's Cramorant. So nothing super effective. Uh, what is the most damaging thing? 130, 90, 130. So let's use this one. See how that goes. Is this ghost type, right? So yeah, this should be actually at least same type attack damage. Maybe even better. A one hit takedown. All right, so rank four is already going great. I need to visit every tourist attraction in the gallery region. Well, here's one more off your list. You're on 2BP. Uh, let's continue battling for now. I wanna see how far we can bring this team. I'm off duty today, mate. I'll not be hearing any of that, the customer is always right rubbish. I mean, we're not your customers, so. Cabby Feng. So yeah, he's one of the uh, taxis. Steelix, oh boy. I don't know if we have the right typing for that right now. I do like how there's different music though. So there's like a huge selection of them maybe. Well, I don't know. Well. I don't know how I'd possibly know. This is the second one I've heard. Uh, okay, so we definitely need to switch to Hackstros for that Earthquake. I don't think Steel is all that great against Dragon type. Wow. Hackstros is much bigger than I expected to be. Iron Head. Ooh, that actually, that wasn't so bad. Let's immediately use Earthquake then. Come on, come on. And hopefully this is enough to take you down in one hit, but it's not. Oh, now we're in trouble. Because they're gonna use Ice Fang? How will that do? Oh, man. Now I'm in trouble. Maybe I should just die to Max right away. Oh, this is also super effective. With Togekiss, we have a fire type move. Okay. Super effective. Let's go for it. There we go. Noctowl. Yeah, this thing. We've seen them earlier in today's episode. We don't have anything super effective here, but what about for Gengar? Nothing. None of this would have been. So you know what, now might be a good time to start rolling out the Dynamax, just like last round. Have that sort of similar strategy. 130, 130, 130. So what typing is... Here, hold on, what typing is Togekiss? Fairy flying. So we definitely wanna do something with that same type attack. 80 or 75 then. Well, actually, let's Dynamax. Okay, let's just do Max Starfall. I know it's a good move. I don't know if using a flying type move against a flying type Pokemon, I, will that actually have any kind of negated effect? I don't think so. But I might as well just use Fairy because I know the Pokemon we're going against is not a Fairy, and I also know that ours is, so we should still be getting that same type. <laughs> that is so cool, okay. Max Starfall coming in. Oh, more than halfway, so if we do that one more time, we should be able to for sure be able to make it work. And they're using Hurricane, which does a good chunk of damage. Let's do Starfall again, and we'll have one left over for whoever's next. See ya, Noctowl. So what do they have next for us? Halucha. So they just have a bunch of birds. <laughs> Mold Breaker. Oh wow, double super effectiveness. Okay, so let's see if this is a one hit takedown. They're gonna use Acrobatics. That doesn't do too much now. Oh, you're in trouble. That's what I'm talking about, but no, it held on! Wow. Well, that should be fine, though, because we can just hit it one more time, get it taken out. That's very, very little health. Air Slash seems good to me. Acrobatics again. Oh, that time, very painful, but not enough to take us out. So let's finish you off. Thank you very much. So Battle Tower is very interesting so far. I keep battles and work separate, mate. You can always give me a call if you need a ride. Yeah, sure. <laughs> You're in two BP. And yes, continue battling. 
So we'll take more than two ones to rank up this time. Oh, it's a, it's a fisher lady. Uh, the true heart of fishing is being able to wait. And wait, and wait, and wait. It's patience. Fisher Maggie. So we'll see if that, that uh, patience is exemplified in this battle. Yeah, here's the uh, blue version of Jellicent. I definitely have not heard this song before. Those are like these awesome remixes. Okay, so let's just go right into Shadow Ball then. Oh. Ah, oh, nice. Now I don't want to hit takedown, but it doesn't need to be. And let's try this again. Okay, wait, no, they're using Shadow Ball against me. No, it was a good idea too. Don't do that. <laughs> right back at you. We're playing a game of like tennis right now, smacking this back and forth. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is jazzy too, I like it. Well, not jazzy as in our Pokemon, but just, it just, it just has jazz music in it. Okay, so Jolteon now. Um, none of this is gonna be super effective, so instead we're gonna switch to uh, Haxorus with the Earthquake. Bum 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 ba 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 ba. The music in this game has been so good. I mean, I have only played a couple of Pokemon games, but this one has my favorite music yet. So you're using Shadow Ball against me as well. It hurt a little bit. I think that we're good just to go into a Dynamax with Max Quake. And you'll be in trouble with that one. For sure. All right, you wanna go now, huh? So let's see how this, they, they fare with this earthquake. It should take him out in one hit. And indeed it does. So with that figured out, they're sending out Kingler. Level 50, of course, they're all level 50. So none of this is super effective. We might as well use Max Wormwind, because I don't think I've seen this move being used before. Ow. Super effective. Whoa. Wow. That's a one-hit takedown. Kingler fainted. We got it. So proud, so proud. So I think that might be enough for us to get a rank up. <laughs> That was just beginner's luck for you. If you say so. <laughs> Looks like you don't have much patience for losing. We are in two BP, and yep, there's a rank up. Congratulations, you moved up there in the ranks. You are now rank five. You've earned a reward for moving up through the ranks. That'll be two more rare candies and uh, a sprig of mild mint. Cool. When a Pokemon smells this mint, its special attack will grow more easily, but its defense will grow more slowly, and five BP. Good work in there, the battle tower is ready whenever you are. So that was a very nice introduction to the battle tower. We got up to rank five. If you guys are interested, maybe we could do more ranking up in future episodes. But for right now, let me take a look at the BP shop. We have 34 BP, so we can't afford too many things here, but there is like a lot of options. Um, a lot of the different items the Pokemon were holding are available here, like uh, room service. An item to be held by a Pokemon at lower speed when the trick room takes effect. Uh, it boosts special attack. If the holder is hit by it with a water type attack, it can only be used once. So very specific things. Um, it boosts the attacks of the holder with an ice type attack. It can only be used once. Weird. Um, down this way, we also have this lady with the mints. I was hoping for maybe a little bit more practical things, you know, being able to like get rare candies or something. Maybe at some point. Um, but yeah, very cool for sure. I had a lot of fun with that, and I think that. I don't want to use any of my rare candies just yet, I don't think. I have a lot of them now, though. If we uh, find out where they are, I'm not quite sure. Probably at the top, or somewhere near the top. We have 13 rare candies. Each one of these will give one level up to a Pokemon. Um, I think we want to save those, though, for when we really need them. In the meantime, though, uh, I did have experience candy. That is something I want to use a bit more. Uh, if we scroll down, because a lot of this stuff is just... Uh, Evolution stones. But it is good to go through it a little bit. What about wishing piece? 
Oh yeah, this attracts Dynamax Pokemon. I only have one of these, weird. Uh, See, so yeah, Experience Candy XL. I should probably give this to our weakest Pokemon. I mean, right now we have a couple at level 70. Uh, let's use it on Tom, because he might be my best bet against Toxtricity. Whoa, that was a lot more experience than I was expecting. 30,000. Um, and we have a couple of those. Let's use it on everybody then. Well, not on everybody, but the three lowest Pokemon I have. Only 10,000. Oh, wait. Maybe that was an XL before. That was okay. Still very good. Let's do that again. Not quite a level up this time. So let's get you to level 72, and then do the same thing for Smokey. This is M, so this is probably like, what, 5,000? 3,000. So I'll use whatever, I should probably use all of them then. Um, three of them on Smokey, see if we can't get him another level up. Level 71, that's good. Do we have any more, uh, what is it called, Dynamax Candy down this way? I think I want to give this to Tom as well. He's increased by one. All right, well, one step closer with that's always good. And one thing I wanted to do, I've been meaning to do this for a while. I wanted to take a look at the league cards. I have a lot of these now. If we take a look at our album, we have a lot. Um, I don't know if we have all of them. If I sort them by Maybe there's like not an official number. Newest, oldest, favorites first, how you met, special. So I guess it's like least to most special. Probably we should do, um, we should probably do um, oldest first and we'll just look through them all. Because as you can see, isn't there a backside to them? Uh, I thought there was. Oh, here we go. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we could read through these. That might take forever. This Pokemon trainer got endorsed to take part in the gym challenge by his brother, the reigning champion, Leon. Hop claims to have watched all of Leon's matches. Commentators speculate that as a result, he might be quite the force to be reckoned with. The champion himself said that his brother has potential, but his carefully hoarded knowledge can go to waste if, as he tends to get easily flustered in battle. It's said that Hop's trainer, or partner, Wooloo, is a great help to him both in battle and with chores around the house. So maybe we'll do like a couple per episode from here on out. So let's take a look at Leon's as well. Uh, Leon is known far and wide for taking part in the gym challenge at the tender age of 10 years old, and even more so for claiming victory in the Champion Cup on his first attempt. Ever since that victory, he and his partner Charizard have remained unbeaten in both league and exhibition matches. He is called the unbeatable champion and is the hero to many trainers. He has but one weakness, a dismal sense of direction, but don't worry, wherever he ends up, he makes sure that every everyone has a champion time. All right, I'll read one more. This is Milo, the, the grass leader, the first leader we went against. Uh, this trainer was born as the son of farmers. He has honed his strength, stamina, and skill as a Pokemon trainer from a young age by working together with his Pokemon. Because of his gentle nature, he has trouble going all out on weaker opponents, which is what is why his gym is the first one for challengers to attempt during the gym challenge. He always wears his boots, as apparently they let him dig his heels when he needs to. Interesting. So yeah, we'll try to read a couple of these every episode. That should be fun. But yeah, lots of fun overall. Like I said before, let me know if you want to see more of this battle tower. Maybe next episode or then in a future episode, we could do doubles and sort of climb the rank with that. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.